This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I'm Pastor Marian Kellenbach, pastor at Living Faith Church, which is located in this beautiful master plan community that's called Tradition in the city of Port St. Lucie in the state of Florida. And today is Monday, October the 30th in the year 2023. This morning, um, for our faith and fitness, we do use Jesus Always from Sarah Young. And so I invite you to close your eyes as you're able. And I want you to imagine that this is Jesus speaking to you. Love is patient. You know what the next word is. Love is kind. Right. Love is patient. In the Apostle Paul's long list of characteristics of Christian love, the very first one is patience. This is the ability to endure adversity calmly, not becoming upset when waiting a long time or dealing with difficult people or problems. Paul's emphasis on patience is countercultural and it is often overlooked by my followers. This vital virtue rarely comes first in people's minds when they think about love. However, there is one common exception to this rule, a devoted mother or father. The demands of babies and young children help develop patience in good parents. They put aside their own needs to focus on their children, tenderly taking care of their needs. I want my followers to lace their love for one another with plenty of patience. This virtue is the fourth trait listed in the fruit of the spirit. Therefore, my spirit can equip you to exceed in this challenging endeavor. Remember that I love you with perfect, unfailing love. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you care for others with my bountiful, patient love. I invite you to open your eyes. Patience, something that, oh my goodness, I don't know if it's that I'm getting older or if the world just seems to have gotten more impatient or a lacking of patience. It's really hard when we live in um, an environment, in a culture, in a world right now uh, where everything is immediate. It's immediate. If you're not quite sure, you know, uh, my husband and I will, uh, Carl and I will always, will watch TV and we're like, who is that actress? What, what was that person in? Was that person in I have my phone right there. And I'm constantly, I can look it up and answer it right away. As opposed to in the past, we dwell on it for a while and eventually get the answer. Well, now I think that having that ability to have everything right away at our disposal has caused us to have this lack of patience in the things that are important in our lives, the things that matter, the things that are, you know, it's our relationship with each other. We want things to um, go the way we want them to go. Even when we think about watching television, you know, everything in a situation comedy or a situation, a 30 minute or even one hour, it's resolved in the one hour. It's resolved in the 30 minutes. Life is not like that relationships are not like that. So what I will say is patience. Love is patient. And this is agape love. This is unconditional love. Because remember in Greek, there are all different types of love. There's brotherly love, right? So we, Philadelphia, phileo, that type of love. There is their eros, right? That erotic, that, you know, romantic love. And then you've got that love, that agape love, and that is unconditional love. So when we speak about love here, that's what we're talking about. Patient love, love that understands, love that loves the other person exactly where they are, sees them for who they are, another beloved child of God. So on this day, live into that spirit given gift. It's not something we're born with. It is given to us, each one of us, through the gift of the Holy Spirit. Breathe in the gift of patience and then live out patience in all that you do and most especially with yourself and with others.
Let us pray. Good and gracious Lord God, on this day, in this time of high anxiety, we ask that you give us patience, that patience which surpasses all understanding that gives peace, which surpasses all understanding. Your love for us is unconditional. It is unfailing. Let us on this day breathe in the gift of your Holy Spirit, the gift of patience, and let us have that just exude from every part of our body that we can be grounded in your love and in your patience with each other. We ask all of this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now we pray those words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. On this day that you will exude patience, now it's time for you to move. We'll see you back here next week. Blessings.